Hello dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will make the overhauling of connecting route of our engine MIN BMW engine. So it's Friday morning today and I will stay with you to make this overhauling, this assembly and the disassembly. First of all, okay, uh, I have made uh, one kind of this video before, but as I have seen, there was not any sound. So let's start direct from the exam. Friends, that you have to the channel, and also you press the bell button for any further notifications. So let's start quickly, quickly to make the assembly and disassembly first of all we'll make the disassembly as you can see the crosshead is missing from here and what we'll need to do i need to remember first of all let's check what parts i have here so as i have seen a practice it's always very very necessary thing so I will select direct my tools and what we will need to do as I remember we need to turn to top dead center uh, our crankcase let's turn it on the top so we will have access on this side of the connecting rook connecting road as it calls big end uh, first of all what I will do here I will disconnect this kind of uh, bolts and I will attach uh, all the necessary lifting devices which will hold and support the pieces okay also here we will need to attach and also then uh, some lifting devices must be attached on the bottom there down first of all what I will do I will release the hydraulics one moment Okay, here we are, let's go a little bit on the top so we can have a, a better view, okay from here, and let's press for dismantling. I hope you like these videos and as I have seen also my dear friends a lot of guys uh, they try to download this kind of simulator and they cannot because there is a problem with uh, the server sometimes as you can see now here because we do not have any support from here or like chain blocks like that this uh, side probably the bottom side will fall down but as you can see here if we press like that it will lay down on the wooden planks so we will need to set some chain blocks there for sure so now what we need to do now we need to go on the top and what I was talking before uh, it will be really really nice to make some upload uh, some file upload so these guys also will be able to download this kind of uh, simulator and material so they can also uh, will be practiced so now as we have dismantled one side we can turn our uh, connecting road and I really really love this lifting equipment, they can stretch <laughs> all apart Okay, 
and also uh, we will disconnect from here and after we will remove our connecting route and now we will they we will turn the connecting route we will turn the connecting route so we will remove it outside so now okay here it is very very easy to turn uh, because it's simulator it will be really really a uh, different for turning that is true because there will be chain blocks also outside here and now we will dismantle our bearings so I will take the screwdriver just for your reference uh, some of these uh, steps will be for sure will be different from the real overhauling uh, as we have seen also before and also uh, about the placement of the lifting tool they can be also uh, different also now we will disassemble this one here and what else remains let's see what else uh, remain to dismantle from here let's see here everything is okay as you can see also there is a hole that means that oil also travels from the inside and also coming from this one hole will distribute also evenly uh, and also this part we need to remove from the engine uh, the oil uh, provide as much as possible a good lubrication and also this lubrication will uh, remove any excess uh, temperatures which will be increased also uh, by the operation of the engine as we know as I have seen also as the load of the engine increases also the thermal load of all components uh, components increases so I will go direct to the assembly procedure of the connecting road and that is true you can see it uh, from your logbook uh, from your logs that the temperature really really change so now as we are going for the assembly procedure I will connect first of all this bearing Uh, there is varial, various uh, manuals that describe exactly uh, the checking procedure of the bearings and there is also some kind of magnifiers that you can also uh, have because these magnifiers will show you a detailed surface a indication and you will be able better to see and make any kind of compare between the new bearings and the used one so let's put it back here let's use our uh, bolts This simulator is really really nice because with uh, some uh, exercise you'll be able to remember all the pieces how they goes okay as we tell before that this can be uh, varies from differences where the chain blocks will be set it and also uh, that one that thing we have seen from the first uh, simulators that we have start here from the exhaust valves from the cylinder 
uh, heads and also from uh, the liner but these kind of jobs it's really really major jobs and they will take uh, a lot of time the, these uh, jobs will consume a lot of time and also uh, the crew must be familiar uh, it's really really difficult when only second engineer uh, knows this job or even uh, the only one chief engineer knows these jobs uh, it's really really difficult to do any kind of these uh, procedures in such jobs as I have seen also and as I have seen in the dry dock uh, how the crew was working everybody knows exactly the position uh, as I have seen also uh, they have one guy which is uh, assigned for this one but he only make some major checks he is not always on the top of them and checking and checking he really really trusts uh, the guys and they have made a lot of times and in case that something happened they will call him that is really really nice thing to see and that was uh, that is one thing that uh, we have on board and it's lack of uh, experience of a lot of people or there is newcomers on the vessels and in many many cases you do not have uh, such people to work with so here we are we have place we can place also our uh, bottom But inside the companies, these guys that uh, are the managers for, let's say, the superintendent, they really do not care if the job will be done safely or not, how the job will be done. And as I, I, I have seen that thing, and this is really, really that uh, it's really, really big problem because they are not involved in any any kind they only speak and they believe that the most of the problems they can solve by only words this is not like that uh, a lot of problems uh, are solved only with proper instructions proper uh, proper conditions also and as I have seen, there is a lot of pressure on the crew staff to doing some jobs, not only from the office, but also from the supervisors that are on board uh, from each deck department or engine departments. They always uh, try as much as possible to press the people, even uh, in COVID periods uh, where it's very, very difficult to uh, go ashore or to take some let's say doctor advice if it's necessary uh, if something is happening so uh, they will not care about that because they are not involved in the job itself they are only speaking by words and uh, that's why they really do not care about uh, the crew and the people that are involved. This is the real truth. If there was the one who doing the job, <laughs> for sure they will not make that job. <laughs> and as we have seen also, they do not make any kind of jobs like that. So the truth, it's very, very important to be tell about that and we're telling that because we like to improve uh, our industry and our community. 
First of all, my dear friends, we have finished all this assembly and the disassembly procedure of our simulator for these guys that they cannot enter to this simulator. I will try as much as possible to download uh, this file and upload it later on for some uh, RAR file uh, because the simulator, as we know, it's completely free. I will try to do as much as possible this also to help the other guys that will like to uh, introduce themselves to this kind of uh, overhaulings and uh, assembly and the disassembly procedure of these engines. Thank you, very very big thank you to these simulator makings, makers, really really appreciate that they are sharing this kind of uh, simulator for free and also very very big thank you to Simeon that he was the one who provides this uh, this software and the indications about this software and for this material and also in some way he also improved uh, our big big community of marine engineering and shipping industry thank you to everybody that you are participating here hopefully you will get subscribed here on the channel and you will press also the bell button for any further notifications don't forget my dear friends to join the community tab and also to check the sites that i have uh, set it on the right uh, site on the main page of the channel thank you again my dear friends and see you in the next video from Adventure Story, bye bye.